Chairman Pepper, thanks so much for joining us. Really do appreciate it. As we speak at about uh, 4.15 or so on election day afternoon, what are you hearing? How is the voting going around the state? You know, I think for a lot of people, it's a little odd because you're used to massive voting, but because so many people vote early, it's, I just got off the phone with a candidate in Cincinnati who said, it feels kind of quiet, even though turnout's actually quite high where he, where he, this candidate was. So, you know, we're seeing a steady, uh, steady voting, um, you know, some places quite crowded in Cuyahoga and other places, other places, not so much because a lot of people vote early. Uh, so, you know, we're, we're, but we're seeing numbers creep up to what you'd expect in the presidential election in some cases more than what you'd expect. So we'll see how, obviously how, how it all shakes out at the end of the night. The things are going to go smoothly the rest of the day. You know, you, you knock on wood. I mean, we've had a few glitches here and there um, because a lot of p- votes were cast early. It hasn't been, you know, the kind of nightmare you've seen in past years. We'll see. You know, there, there was some glitches in Franklin County around some technology, um, some long lines because of that. Uh, those seem to have been largely resolved. Um, you know, things here or there. But but but, you know, we got what, three and a half hours left. Hopefully um, it, it stays smooth to the end. Um, my, my guess is like always, you know, you, you get um, you get more crowded in, after work. The one other thing I'd say, it's not a glitch or a problem, but there are still a couple hundred thousand absentee ballots out there. And people should know uh, 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 that they have until 730 if they haven't mailed them to drop them at the drop box that in, in, in Cuyahoga is at their board of elections uh, downtown. Actually, that's true of every county in your viewing area. People have three hours still. If they if they took the time to get that absentee ballot, they clearly want to vote. Well, get it to that drop box by 7:30. It counts. Don't don't just sit there because you didn't get it in the mail. You can get it into your drop box. Uh, thank you. Sorry for your. You just went on mute. It's fine. Uh, the polls going into today were tick-tock close with the former vice president with a narrow lead over President Trump. Going into the next few hours and going into tonight, what are you most concerned about? Uh, I just mentioned one. I mean, when you see a couple hundred thousand absentee ballots out, that's a concern. Um, that's a lot of votes. So that's why I'm, we're imploring people to get their votes in and we'll see how much is in the mail. Because uh, if it really is that close, that's a lot of votes that are that are still out there. You know, the, the others is just, you know, it's a nice day. I think in most parts of the state, it's warmed up, it's sunny. You got three three hours and 20 minutes. Let's get those votes in. And uh, for us, a very high turnout normally spells good things in Ohio. We're, we're, we're on path to have one. But the number one thing is just to make sure people realize that they can, they still have a lot of time to get their vote in. And, um, and then, you know, the bigger concern beyond Ohio is a president who is suggesting that he will not um, accept the results or hold dec- he'll declare victory before it's over or he will, will start trying to get rid of valid votes. That's disturbing. And that's not something we've ever seen from a president before. Uh, that's beyond Ohio. Uh, that hasn't really been talked about when it comes to Ohio. But what motivates a lot of folks in Ohio, including myself, is if we turn Ohio blue for Biden, Donald Trump's plans to reverse the outcome of other states become irrelevant because the election's over. So it's in our hands, Ohio, to actually stop any intention of challenging results in states that have a slow early vote count. Our early votes are counted first. They'll be announced by 8 p.m. So if we have a decisive result here and it's blue, we basically end that idea of overturning the outcome before it even it even takes form. And that's what you know, so that's a bigger picture worry uh, that, that we can actually help solve if we if we vote in big numbers. And you touched on this as well. But as we speak right now, how optimistic are you that the former vice president will prevail in Ohio? Uh, as as my friend Stacey Abrams says, I'm neither optimistic or pessimistic. I'm determined. We're just going to keep fighting. We'll let others do the predicting. We got a lot of votes that are still out there. We got to get them in. So we are between media calls. I'm texting voters myself. Others are phone banking. Uh, We got people out trying to get folks to vote. So our number one thing is uh, let others predict. We're simply here to get every vote we can cast. And that includes a whole lot of votes in Cleveland that we're still working to make sure we get in. 
in this divided environment, let's talk about down the road. I mean, tomorrow morning, Thursday morning, Friday morning, how does the state Democratic Party help heal the state, heal the country? That's a great question. You know, I, I think there, there are clearly strong passions on each side. Um, I think we need to do what we've always done, which is respect the electorate's decision, but also ensure that every vote is counted. And our first goal as a state party, like the other states is, you know, we don't need to rush to determine an outcome as much as we need to ensure that every single vote is counted. When every vote is counted, then we respect the result and we respect the will of the people. We need to do that as a party. The Ohio Republican Party needs to do that. And frankly, everyone in the country needs to do that. But but you don't start seeing kumbaya until every vote is cast. And and if someone tries to keep every vote from being cast, you don't let that happen. So we will fight to make sure every vote legally cast. And by the way, in Ohio, that means any vote that was postmarked yesterday that arrives within 10 days should be counted. That is a valid vote. And we will not allow anyone to get in the way of that. And that includes people voting from uh, military bases overseas, overseas voters, people who put their ballot in the mail five days ago that the post office slowed down. Every one of those voters is entitled to, ha entitled to have their vote cast. So we will, we will fight to make sure these votes are all counted. And then obviously when there's a clear result, we will respect the result. And I think that's what we all should do, uh, beginning with the president and Vice President Biden, through all of us who are running, through through county parties, state parties, you name it. David Pepper, thank you so much. Perhaps we will speak later on tonight, but really do appreciate you talking Great. to us this afternoon. Thanks. Good talking to you as well. Take care. All right, David. See you. Bye-bye. See you.